there's an amazing place on Reddit. Some people call it a sub forum. Some people call it, a, I'm the only one who calls it a sub forum, actually. Most people call it a subreddit. It's the Adam Carolla subreddit. It's on Reddit, and it's a subreddit. And it's a bunch of people who hardly listen to Adam Carolla. We're going to talk about them and maybe get those people to listen. I'm one of them. I downloaded an episode this week for the first time in I don't know how many years. Long time. Anyway, so let's talk about all the members of the sub forum and what they had to say about today and see if there's anything else interesting in the sub today other than the day's show thread. ACS May 27th, 22. It's Nuts and Dickerson. It's Dustin Nickerson. And then it's Jay Chandrasekhar. I think he just likes that I'm probably pronouncing his name correctly. Chandrasekhar. Mr. Chandrasekhar. The rocket you launched to Mars. Unfortunately, it exploded on the way. Mr. Chandrasekhar, we need money to build another one. Yes. Jay Chandrasekhar is in the house. And I think the comments are positive about him from what I browsed earlier. I basically read all these comments a couple times throughout the day to prepare for the podcast because I got nothing to do. Right? So I'm just checking this out. So let's read everything and go through it. Adam talks about the legendary Jack Lane. I think that name is spelled correctly. He's got a tough one. Uh, exercise guru who used uh, take on feats of strength for his birthday every year. Uh, a great description of Jack Lane would be the guy in the 50s who kind of pioneered healthy sort of eating and exercise that didn't used to be a thing. Everyone just smoked and put wear ties too tight around their neck in the 50s. Um, getting their government loans after serving in the military to build their homes. That, that's what life was like, and, and people didn't really get in shape. That's a newer thing. You weren't supposed to live long back in the mid-1900s. Uh, life expectancy kept going up. Anyway, Jack Lane is a really interesting fellow. Uh, passed away, oh God, it's probably close to 10 years ago already, I bet. Um, but lived till the ripe old age, I believe, of about 94 or 95 uh, I remember seeing interviews with him driving around his speedy car, and he was swimming in his pool at his house up on the, in the hills of California. Not sure where. We'll, we'll get to his location later as we go down in the comments. But uh, I remember him, you know, uh, like putting uh, a um, a rope tied to the pool and putting it in his mouth and swimming against the rope. Like uh, definitely, he was still pretty jacked. I think he only had a heart attack at some point in his nineties, and he still lived a few years after that, at least. So anyway. Uh, interesting guy. I don't fault Adam for bringing up obscure things that we should learn about that, that can teach a lesson. Adam remembers the time he got a personal training session from him on the Man Show. We all have to man so. It's a new employee, everybody. Okay, you sometimes you forget the age, and in this time, man so. We're sowing the wild man oats of the Man Show from the early 2000s, late 90s. I don't know how long ago it was. Filmmaker and comedian Jay Terandalala Shekhar comes into the studio to talk about his newly released app, Vouch. What the hell? Oh, wait a minute. Here's somebody promoting something that sounds something I haven't thought of. What is going on here? Vouch, which aims to take power away from critics and movie recommendations that make sense for the user. Gotcha. Vouching for... I, I vouch for this opinion. Yeah. So, talk... Okay, well, before we get to Super Troopers talk, so that sounds interesting. Um, and, of course, there's a tie-in to the Rotten Tomatoes game, which not only is it about RottenTomatoes.com, a uh, rating site that has had, had its share of uh, drama and critique about whether the, the ratings from the audience or the, the ratings are kind of you know messy, that whole situation, and that being the game that Adam goes to every time he needs to kill 25 minutes on the podcast, Here's something else, an idea of vouch. So this is reputation, I would imagine. I haven't talked to Jay Chandrasekhar about this, but I assume, based on what I'm reading, because I didn't listen to the podcast today, that that this is about vouching for the opinion so that you try to weed out the paid placement opinions, right? We want to we want to get rid of people who are just part of the studio or part of an advertising campaign to say that a movie is good or bad or whatever, and we want actual people who saw the movie to say whether or not it's good and who can be somewhat unbiased. I assume that's what he's going for, but I guess you'll have to listen to find out. He talks about a new projects he's working on, like Super Troopers 3. What, what's going to happen? Are the Vermont cops going to go across the border into Montreal? The Vermont Super Troopers... Stuck on St. Catherine Street in the middle of all the beautiful, beautiful strippers. Yes. Coalice, tabernacle. I apologize to all the people who speak French. Those are pretty bad curse words in French. Um, I, I spent some time up there. I had a girlfriend in Montreal for two years. I was there every weekend. Beautiful city. Anyway, okay. Easter Sunday. 
Um, yeah, and I dealt with my fair share of, of uh, Vermont State Police also. I got pulled over three times in the same day, first day I got a pickup truck, because I didn't know how to drive stick properly. And I was so bad that the same cop saw me three times and pulled me over just to make sure. And I didn't get a ticket, because, you know, you get a new truck in Vermont, that is like, I mean, that's like your sweet 16 as as a boy. Um, anyway, so, <laughs> point, let's keep going. So, comedian Nuts, Nuts and Dickerson... I can't not hear it. Joins the gang to talk about his new book, How to Be Married to Melissa, a hilarious guide to happier, comma, one hyphen of a hyphen, a hyphen, a hyphen kind marriage. Wow. Um, can we just rename this thing How to Be Pee Whipped? Like, what on earth? Who is Melissa? Uh, let me tell you, if she's this demanding that you write a book about how to keep her happy, you have no hope of keeping her happy that long because as soon as the sales dry up, I hope her dad like works for the New York Times bestseller list or something and there's a reason for this because I feel bad for this guy. He explains how he went from being a youth pastor, oh boy, to a comedian. Yeah, they're basically the same thing except one of them, you're letting people know that you're kidding, right? Gina Grad reports the news of today, including God, the death of Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta's face had not looked good when you see him. It's, it had a chalky look to it. I wonder what he what he actually died of. I know in his sleep I haven't looked it up. But yeah, yeah, that's sad. A, a star and, and also someone who we all can, uh, you know, at age 67, it's, it's sad. Things are happening. People are dying. New allegations against Kevin Spacey. Uh, yeah, the, the consensus is he's a little creepy. He's too good at acting creepy to not be a little creepy. That's the way I look at that. Colin Kaepernick's message to the NFL. Maybe did anyone find a comb I lost in my hair like three years ago. Anybody know where it is? I think there's two in there. I don't know what his message is. A judge blocking the sale of infamous Wizard of Oz dress. Is that Dorothy's dress? Or is it the Wicked Witch of the West dress with the legs? I don't know. Uh, most expensive car ever sold. Don't think it was the Newman car. Uh, and the last payphone bank. <laughs> payphone, yeah, being removed in New York City. Yes. Yes, that, that is... I, I can believe it was still there, but yeah, it's time to go. Um, you could just, just ask Andy. Have you ever had anybody ask you to make a phone call for you? Happened to me many, many times. That just what happens now, right? Pay phones are completely obsolete. All right. Well, shoot landing fail. Uh, top rated comment of the day. Upvoted comment of the day. While discussing Jacqueline's birthday, and it's a complaint about Gina, and Gina's saying that Morro Bay is San Francisco. Now, I have been to, what was it, Oro? Sea of Oro? I walked around maybe Morro Bay. I've been driving there. Yeah, it's not exactly right next to San Francisco, but it's also not L.A. I thought he lived in L.A. Uh, from the, at the end of his life. I may be wrong. Um, I, we're going to attack Gina, but, you know, because she says things that are wrong a lot and doesn't look them up. Does she admit when she's wrong? Because maybe that'll help. Let's see if she if, if she says, all right, maybe, yeah, she's, I was wrong about where he's from. I don't know. Was, yeah, it was Jay Chandra Shekhar. Chandra, 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 Chandra Shekhar. Was he the guy on earlier this week? Maybe he lives in the warehouse with Vinny. No, he's fine. He's he's promoting. He's coming on. The comments were positive about him. He didn't, Jay Chandra Shekhar did not take a hit in the comment thread. People were like, yeah, he's good. We shouldn't complain. Yeah, we should. I, I don't think we should complain even if we have a comedian on instead of, you know, whatever hack, political hack that we clearly don't want to listen to. So as for the this this week of guests, it's been pretty consistent. You had to have the doctors about the shooters going on because this, I mean, shoot, shooting up schools is a humongous problem. I, I heard some stat that there's been like 200 school shootings this year or something crazy. No, two, it was 200 multiple shootings and definitely over the dozens number of sh school shootings this year. And it's like, what on earth? Like, yeah, this is clearly an epidemic, um, and something has to be done. I talked about it in yesterday's podcast, but clearly limiting guns and making, um, uh, at least limiting where you're furnishing guns and, you know, and the penalties for having them and, and working on semi-automatic and automatic situation to make sure that that really deadly weapons like this that are so used, they just, they just don't often get it into the hands of people who would do this. It's almost like you need to tag every gun and know where it is. Um, maybe that's that's a solution. Nick Orp says, Gina, did you hear that Christian pastor preaches all about abstinence but is a huge hypocrite and can't keep it in his pants? 
Adam has a single follow-up. Uh, Gina, I don't know anything else. I just watched the first 10 minutes. Well, at least she's admitting she only watched 10 minutes. Um, but, t hey, remember, she does two hours of prep every day, right? So there, there had to be an hour and 50 minutes of other prep other than that. All right, let's keep going. What else I want to talk about here? Apparently, she does an Aunt B impression. How does Aunt B sound? Does Aunt B sound proper? What does she say? Is, is, she, is she Scottish? Is Aunt B Scottish? She, her brothers and her sons and her fathers were all miserable alcoholics, but Aunt B never touched the stuff. I don't know. I don't know who Aunt B is. Dick Parker making an appearance. Is that Gina's newest, even more awful impression stick? He's asking a question because he doesn't listen. And not only has he let us know that he doesn't listen with his own thread about that, but even people here are commenting about how he isn't listening. Uh, where is it? <laughs> it? Says that Richard Parker's losing it. Somebody down here. We'll get there. There we go. Toby O Nut Nut Toby O Natobi. I like that. Sounds good. It's not rolls off the tongue. Doesn't roll off the eyes. Toby O Natobi says, "Um, is a ticket losing it? He wrote a post that looked like a response to a question hasn't been asked. Between that and the post, it seems like you're all over the place." How much are people interested in the Bible when listening to the podcast? I mean, losing is even more unusual. Dicky seems to be an experiment. What happens if you give it a Nazi a thesaurus? <laughs> what happens if you give a Nazi a thesaurus? Uh, is it a German thesaurus? Uh, but he has an only 50-50 chance of knowing what any word means. I know there are a lot of words that sound specific. Let's ask him directly. Like, Tiki, do you use uh, any, any uh, you know software aids when you are creating your posts to add, like do you, do you press a button that says, hey, give me a word here that isn't normal. Give me a word here that only gets used one one hundredth of the time for the same thing. Is that, is that how he writes his post or does he actually know those words? Questions I'd like the answer to. Let's find out. Johnny Rod. Johnny Rod's in here uh, trying to respond to Tiki but he's been blocked apparently. He must have blocked me too because I can't see any of this. Johnny can't see any of it. Turf monkey. Consider yourself lucky to be blocked. I think I'm blocked but not really. I avoid blocking by doing, like, YouTube videos and podcasts and stuff. How do you block a podcast? If you want to listen to it, you have to listen to it. Um, Crowder Nickerson. Sounds like wide receivers on Cleveland. All the best comedians failed preachers and then failed at Christian comedy. So we're bashing this guy, Nickerson, just because he's P-whipped and wrote a book to get laid with his wife. I mean, she already signed on the dotted line. Why you got to write a book? I guess you got to pay the bills, right? You pay for the wedding. All right. Big youth pastor, yeah, but not a, not a uh, positive consensus on the pa on the former pastor. Although Jay Chandrashekar, I think gets nothing but hey, we shouldn't complain about him. And I like the fact that he brought up the vouch. Like this is the thing he's bringing, he's doing something. This is something being promoted that doesn't have the stench of paid product placement. It has the stench of hey, I want you know I, I do good content. I do beer fest. I do super troopers. I, you know, people recognize me for being funny. Well, now in today's environment, it's diff difficult to get those movies made because of the way things are. And, and the rating system is, plays a huge part in how a movie does. It's word of mouth, right? It's 21st century word of mouth. Road Hard Zeitgeist. What else was there? There wasn't much in today's. Uh, other than somebody said uh, in another thread we should do hypothetical road trip game, Larry Miller, and I had to actually look up to see if Larry Miller was still alive because he hasn't been on the show in a while and I remember he had that accident where he fell against the stone side of a bar outside of a, a pub or something and had a, a serious brain bleeding injury that, that caused a lot of rehab and stuff. So I always like to see Larry Miller back on the show and doing doing good things because he, he slows Adam down a little bit. Adam lets him talk and the episodes with Larry Miller tend to be memorable as well. So, all right, guys, that's the podcast for today. I'm actually going to get to work and do a bunch of programming. I'm going on a, uh, what do they call that? A, uh, a uh, hackathon. I'm going on my own personal hackathon to solve a problem and convert something all day. So, good luck, everyone. May all your podcasts be listenable.